Okay, follow up. When you see you're done with the event, it feels like, <laughs> but it's not yet. You still have all those checklist items. Send a follow up email after the day after the event with like a recording of the um, event, if it's like a um, virtual event or just like an overview of like the in person event. And then I would also say like a handwritten thank you is always nice as well because it just creates that personal connection again. And if they brought a friend or brought somebody with them, make sure to include that in your handwritten written mm -hmm. note. Um, and if there's a lot of people, one of the biggest um, angst of advisors are if there were 100 people at the event, mm -hmm. you can make 100 phone calls. So we always like to say, you know, send out a survey or bring a survey and have them fill it out and then gear your calls towards the, the survey. Mm -hmm. So there's following up with the client. Um, but then I, there's also just event follow up, um, making sure you've got all the receipts, making sure that you've checked in with the sponsor and given them what they need so you can actually receive the sponsorship check. Um, there's getting the pictures from whoever took them to the appropriate place to save them, you know, updating your website. And then that way you can kind of build up the excitement for the upcoming events. Definitely taking pictures of the room and how you had it set up. Uh, it reminds you what you did in years prior. Um, and again, it helps build up the excitement for future events. Um, also to help you remember what you've done is uh, keeping record of your invitations and emails. Um, so either so you can do the same design or so you don't do the same design. <laughs>